so fashion trends is all about change it's all about movement and it goes and it often come back again hey how you guys doing welcome back i hope you guys are well thank you so much for tuning in as always i appreciate you guys so if you see my face for the first time i am glad on here i make fashion and lifestyle content here every week if you like the sound of that please do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel and hit your notification bell it really helps because whenever i put out any content you will be the first person to see in today's video i will be sharing 10 fashion trends with you guys i'm the kind of person that i dip my feet into trends here and there but i don't want to be too consumed with um, trend because they come they go i don't want to acquire so many pieces for example that does not align with my wardrobe we just dive right into this video so the first trend i'll be sharing today guys is the classic look understated look this um, trend really allies with me and this trend was absolutely on last year and i'm so happy that this year this trend is here to stay this kind of a lot quiet luxury sort of trend so this look is very more effective if you have like a capsule wardrobe so with this sort of uh, understated look it's really nice to have nice trouser nice shirt simplicity anything simple even dress the way you pull your dresses together so is the idea of missing and matching pieces that you already have in a wardrobe to cr create a really nice um, aesthetic because i believe that minimal is always the best it's perfect it's timeless it's classy it's ageless you can just go on and on and you're still going to see most of all these influencers the influencing with this trend so another trend that i will be talking about is short shorts so this particular one is not very, it's not for me, to be honest with you. I have not seen people on my high streets wearing this short short of a thing. Perhaps some people might wear it to club. I remember those days when short short was a thing. People do go to clubs with short shorts. On the frazzle, when you see people out there in your neighborhood wearing short short, so don't be like, oh my God, what are they wearing? No, it's a trend that just literally, apparently, it has rolled in this 2024. I don't even know how to start. My legs are so long. You know, maybe before I, I might have done it, but mm, with uh, a mother of two now that I am, I don't want my 10 years old st start telling me that, mommy, you dress it like a teenager or something. Like that. I don't really, I don't know. I don't, is that a bad thing? I don't even know where to start with that short, short thing. But yeah, apparently it's a thing that is coming back. So embrace yourself or embrace this trend. Paul, for me, I could pass it on. <laughs> So guys, so last year, we're beginning to see a lot of low waste. <laughs> I think, I think they're going out. Some generation might not be happy with this. But I think this one could ha happily go out, but high waist is still very much here to stay. I am enjoying high waist trouser and it's very, very much here. I do not do the extra extra high waist but the normal high waist one is still very in when it comes to in trousers in jeans in shorts they're still very much here so the low waist i think the low waist is funny to the left to the left i remember doing a lot of low waist when i was a teenager but i can't honestly see myself low waisting anymore i think that time of low waisting is gone so for some teenagers they love it. Some people love low waist. I just find it because I like doing the French talk quite a lot when I put an outfit together. So when it's low waist, because I'm quite, I'm 5'10 tall. And sometimes I often think that the proportion is not right, if you see what I mean. So when I'm trying to talk, because some of my jumper, they're very, they're not as long. And I really do struggle with that. And I'm just like, what is the point of this low waist? I don't find it. I don't find it flattering this uh, anymore but you can still see the low waist here but what i'm trying to say we still very much in the high waist era a lot of trousers is still um, high waisted you go to the shop you're going to see a lot of high waist and um, yeah i love it because 
most of my trousers they are high waisted so yeah another fashion trend that is in at the moment is the metallic uh, pieces so it could be trouser it could be shoe so i've seen a lot of silvering kind of trouser floating about and uh, to be honest with you i'm not mad at it just recently maybe a day before a day or two before filming this video so i went on my school road i actually saw two mommies wearing this trend i was just like yeah this is amazing so what they did they just wore this really leather the way like a silvery trouser so they just wore like a kind of a darker um, jumper on top of it really nice tucked at the front it was absolutely beautiful it wasn't too dressy or anything because they've done it they were very clever about it because you know the metallic trouser is very is very kind of vibrant on its own so they wore like a muted like jumper really nice talk with trainers like with just like a puff so it wasn't too obvious it was dressed it was done in a way whereby it kind of incorporated to their everyday look and which is really nice so i'm seeing a lot of metallic it could be shoe it could be trouser it could be even like a puffer it could be anything like a handbag i'm seeing people kind of integrating this kind of metallic pieces into their style so on pinterest there's a lot of metallic styling so for me definitely i will embrace my pump i will use my pump to style quite a lot so i think i'm quite confident in integrating my shoe into this trend another fashion trend that will be making an appearance this spring summer i think is going to be a gorgeous white dress i love white i love anything white from tank top to tees to shirt trouser i love a good white so i've seen a lot of white dresses like online when i went when i was looking i was just like oh my god a lot of beautiful white dresses there was one time in my life i couldn't really wear white the way i would have loved to because then i have two young babas two young toddlers so i couldn't really use it because it gets stained so quickly but i am so happy like nice white dress in the spring summer is making an appearance this year so i can't wait i was checking in mango the other day i was just like oh wow they are coming fingers crossed hopefully other stores follow suit but i've seen a lot of uh, white dresses like on pinterest i think it might be a huge thing this year so another trend that is pretty much on as well is maximo jewelry layering so this trend is not going anywhere some people they wear like classic pieces very minimalistic aesthetic look that they give but the other way that they express themselves is to put a lot of jewelry on their fingers like it, it could be like four rings or five rings i do like putting multiple rings on my fingers sometimes i put here sometimes i could do like three i do like it on my thumb quite a lot so you're going to see that kind of expression somebody could be wearing a very minimalistic outfit but through their jewelry you can really see and sometimes with their ears as well they put like really nice um maybe different earrings statement so this is just like the layering on their neck as well some people they put minimal on their earring and they layer quite a lot around their neck so you'll be seeing a lot of a uh, maximum jewelry or usually i do avoid putting a big statement here and doing heavy layering and heavy jewelry in my hand so I try to put like minimal earring here. I could lay a few necklace on my neckline. So just depending on how you feel, Paul, what I'm trying to say this year, watch out for maximum jewelry layering. I'll be. The next trend that is very much in at the moment is a really nice statement earring. I love a good statement earring. I love putting on minimalistic pieces, but sometimes when you wear minimalistic without using the right accessory sometimes you feel a little bit like as if you're not dressing if you see what i mean but a really nice big statement here sometimes without any necklace often does the magic for me i think we in this year we're going to be seeing a lot of nice uh, statement uh, earring pieces and especially when you put your hair up like this with a nice statement earring i think it's really beautiful is very timeless is very in so i think this year 2024 we're going to be seeing a lot of um 
statement pieces so it could be seen it in silver golden or even in a craft form i am so up for this trend because so another trend that will not go away i love this trend so much is denim on denim a lot of denim on denim is floating about it could be like denim dress which i love it could be like a denim one piece i love a good denim one piece a really nice structure denim one piece and moreover i love a straight leg with a shirt denim tucked with belt it just give a really nice look i don't think this trend is going anywhere it's here to stay i know some people will be thinking oh my god denim on denim is updated so denim on denim is not going anywhere denim on denim is here to stay and a lot of this look has been everywhere i love looking at pinterest for inspiration so there's a lot of denim on denim even denim shoe everything complete monochromatic denim look floating about and it's so beautiful so during lockdown we saw a lot of um, statement set so this year guys we're still going to be seeing a lot of statement set i think they're really cute i think this year i'm really looking forward to spring and spring i really want to put on a lot of statement um sets i think they really effortlessly they really if put together well they look very stylish and really good so a friend of mine last year she really sort of influenced me she really wore like the pyjama kind of um set quite a lot and initially i was more like mm, i don't really but the way she actually wore it the way she styled it i was completely influenced i was even thinking this year i might dip my toe into this trend because they are beautiful so this trend it could be like you know you could buy it like a silk pyjama uh, kind of pyjama sort of look with a trouser so you could buy it plain it could just be plain but it's what how you sort of accessorize it that really matters so with a really nice handbag flat and with nice um sunglasses oh my goodness you look so chic so put together so the reason why i like a good statement um set so it makes an outfit look really expensive really put together and it makes an outfit very cohesive so yeah i'm very much looking forward to spring and i'm very much looking forward to trying this um trend out and so another trend i will be talking about is hair accessories so during the festive period i saw a lot of people just using a lot of bows in their hair is so beautiful and i think this statement um hair accessories is going to be creeping in this um this new year i really love it i love a good hair clips you know it just make an outfit look together it makes your hair honestly look stunning poppy it, it kind of completes an outfit with a really nice hair clip at the back or sometimes and i like a good hair clip when you want to kind of Put it at the start i think it's just a really nice touch festive period some people they were just using a nice red bow accessories on their hair i thought it's really good just so depending on the hairstyle as well but a good hair clips a good hair grip things like that i am so up for it this year <laughs> so another fashion trend that i've been seeing floating around lately like online is rips i honestly i like a good rip when i was like a teenager i used to rip my trouser myself i think you might be seeing a lot of rip this this season this new year probably spring i think rip when they rip properly it can be honestly gorgeous especially spring summer time i love a nice kind of relaxed jeans with a little rip not too much not too crazy but when rip are not ripped properly or not done properly so we can all agree that it could look a bit tacky and we don't want that look in this 2024 we want something a bit more kind of edgy posty within the boundary of being put together if you see what i mean so i think you might see a lot of ripped jeans this year so keep your eye on so if you are the sort of person that like a little bit of rip in their trouser so embrace yourself because this trend i don't mind actually dipping my feet in this trend because i am a rip baby i love it <laughs> so another trend that is in at the moment is fashionable belts so last year you a lot of belts slim belts was floating around for this year in 2024 we're going to have this really nice 
bigger belt fashionable belt that maybe you could wear like a dress or you put a really nice statement belt in the middle just to create another look so they are really beautiful i could remember using this sort of trend when i was a teenager and i really love it you know sometimes you put a belt on the belt will, will be integrated with shane so it just kind of give your outfit it draw the attention towards the belt to snatch the waist so i think we're going to be seeing a lot of fashionable belts like this but i'm very much enjoying my slim belt because i really love the selling belt last year that a lot of all these influencers we are using so i bought really nice belt from massimo duty and i love it but i don't really i'm not too sure about this huge fashionable belt that i've been kind of seeing on pinterest seeing everywhere but hey ho let's see but uh, like i always say on this channel you have to do what makes you feel comfortable with so guys that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy watching this one so depending on how this video perform i might do a part two of this sort of fashion trend video i really enjoy shooting this one and i enjoy looking at the fashion blog and i enjoy doing pictures because i love recreating outfits that uh, i love recreating outfits with pieces i already have in my wardrobe thank you so much for tuning in if you know you're not subscribed to the channel please go ahead subscribe hit your notification bell so that whenever i bring out any content you will be the first person to see so thank you i will see you guys in my next one bye bye